Persistence. Everybody say persistence. persistence. To be successful, you need a purpose, you need passion, you need a plan, you need people, and you need to be persistent. Now, persistence is a consistent insistence that you have what you're going after. Let me repeat it again. Persistence is a consistent insistence that you have what you're going after. To be persistent means you refuse to stop. Nobody can prevent you from accomplishing your goal. Persistence means you will stand against every opposition, every uh, detour or determined, every person who tries to prevent you, you will see them as a temporary detour. A persistent person will irritate you. You know, there's a story in the Bible, Jesus tells of a persistent woman who was before a judge. You remember that? And the judge told her the first time, he says, no, you can't have it. And the Bible she kept on coming and kept on coming and kept on coming until the judge says, okay, you can have it. Then he also tells another story about persistence, about a man whose friends came to visit at night and he went to his other friend, knocked on the door and asked for bread. You remember that? And the friend says, go away. I and my wife and my children are already in bed. Go away. And the man came back to the door and knocked again. And the friend got up and said, can't you hear? I am in bed. Go away. Leave us alone. My wife and my children, I are already asleep. And he kept on knocking on the door the third time. And the Bible says the man in the house was angry. Got up, went to the kitchen, got bread, kicked open the door and says, here. And Jesus said, quote, he got what he wanted because he was persistent. Let me tell you what that means. Whatever you were born to do will not be given to you. You got to go and get it. Whatever you were born to do is usually behind a locked door. And you're going to have to irritate until the door opens. It also means that whatever you were born to do will not come easy, even though it is simple. You're going to have to be persistent and consistently insistent that this is what you were born to have. You know, people who have a passion and a purpose are motivated by trouble. They get excited by resistance because it gives them perseverance that builds character that gives them the ability to stand in the midst of a storm. You can only be persistent if you are convinced that what you are going after belongs to you. If you're not convinced that it's really yours, you will get tired and quit. The Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. For in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Jesus was talking about prayer one time. And uh, his words on prayer are very interesting. He says, when you pray, ask. Everybody say, ask. I think we're good at that. Everybody been doing that. Give me this, Lord. Give me that, Lord. I mean, people are professional actors. <laughs> then he says, what? After you act, get up of your knees. Leave the prayer closet. And do what? Seek. Seek is active. Seek is aggression. Seek means you persist. Now, by the way, the Greek word that is used here, seek, it's the infinitive tense, which means you don't look. You seek. When you look at something, the word look means you, you gaze at it, then you stop gazing. That means look. When you seek, it's a, pers it's a persistent infinitive tense. You keep seeking until you find. How long have you been going after what you quit leaving, what you, what you quit going after? Why did you stop going after it? Why have you settled for less in life? Just because someone slammed a few doors in your face, you close your eyes and went the other way? No. To be successful in life, you and I need to understand prayer. Prayer is not only passive, it is active. You pray in a place, but then you seek everywhere. That means if you can't start your business in Pennsylvania, you go to California. If you can't start it there, you go to New York. If you can't start there, come to the Bahamas. You don't stop until you establish the business. Not because you fail in, in New York means you're going to fail in California. We quit too easily. Not because your ministry failed last month means it's going to fail next year. You don't stop 
because resistance come against you. You keep going because God has promised you this thing. Then Jesus says, knock. You know, after you seek and you find what you were looking for, it's usually locked up behind closed doors. So you got to keep on what? Knocking. Everybody say, keep on knocking. Now, the word knock is also infinitive tense in the Greek. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. That means you keep on knocking until you irritate the person who's holding your stuff. <laughs> in other words, a person who knows their purpose irritates you until you give up what you're sitting on. The same bank that told you no last year will tell you next, yes in two years. So you don't quit. You just keep irritating. The same school which says you can't come into this college because you don't have the right degree, go and take some classes then go back again next year. Keep on irritating them because why? If God told you you're going to get a degree, no one can stop. Only you can stop it. 